Oi, oi, lads. Is trickery a good tier? I don't know, man, but if it's good anywhere, surely it's here, right? We've got zero, four, four zero mana chalice, four zero mana furies that can be countered, and like they've got a chance of hitting Atraxa, Ulamog, Devourer, Oliphant, Ring, Sneak Titan, Bloodman early in the game can be good. And yeah, like trickery, <clears throat> much like the Sunder Interruption, you just, you gotta try it, man. Sokinzan seems worse than a mountain, I'll say that. Three sideboard cards, chat. I've got show and tell, I've got graveyard, I've got energy. This is a lot of lands, is it? It's not. Can't play surgical extraction because we've got we've got chalice, man. Anti enchant somehow. It's not possible. <clears throat> play all four fetch lands, okay. We probably want one surveil land, right? Four mountains, one surveil. Which color would you like our surveil land to be, chat? Or or that gate, man. You, I think you guys were a bit hasty hating on the gate. Bum 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 boo 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 boo. I mean, this thing is gas, no? Seek a non-land card. Activate only once. It's, it is a mountain. Fetchable, baby. Fetchable. Alright, sideboard. Sideboard me, sideboard me. But... <laughs> The lengths a guy will go to to try and pretend he's not playing mono red. Look at this mana base. <clears throat> so what's the sideboard card? Show and tell. Energy. <clears throat> like some some cards against counter spells. Any anything that's decent. And red or colorless. Trickery. I've got trickery, man. Will there be any opponents where we want the other wind turbines? Isn't banditry better than Brotherhood's End for a Traxa? Um, no, it's, it's actually worse because I've got I've got eight enchantments and only four sorceries. Interestingly, it's worse. All right, I've got our final sideboard card. Fucking squee, bro. Easy clap. Just squee the blue black decks. Okay, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at Lab Devourer. I'm looking at Sneak Attack Ulamog. Hey, no griefs when I'm old, that's not fair. <clears throat> that's against the damn rules. Now just devour her for a blood moon, right? <clears throat> Take a chalice. Okay, I'm looking at this. I kind of wish this was a Fable right now, man. Turn to a Fable looking hot here. But if we didn't have the lab, we'd be happy it was the Lootmonger, though. Hmm. 
Yo, give me a Lando, give me a Lando. Any Landos. Yeah, Fable or Lootmonger are irrelevant. True. Two griefs is cheap. Do they have a, a way to deal with sneak attack? If we get it in play, they they can't remove it with their main deck, no. But well, actually, no, they can. They have uh, the Alenda trigger can get rid of it from Sorin, but <clears throat> that is that is asking a lot. To be fair. <clears throat> GG. How is it GG, man? Game's got another eight turns to go. Grief decks are annoying, of course, but they don't kill you very fast. Yo, gate haters, where you at? Where you at, gate haters? <clears throat> Gatekeepers, true. Activate only once. Can be done at instant speed. Pretty cool. Alright, Oppo, I don't I don't think you really want to give me a juggernaut, mate. <clears throat> three five five three creature. <clears throat> well played, well played. Let's put the Ulamog in. One mana away from uh, cast hard cast and a devourer here. <laughs> ah! Ooh! Ooh! Good cards. Good cards. I mean, I did. I'm a novice gate user. It's so true. <clears throat> nice swords. <laughs> Powerful swords. I mean, you got a <coughs> cycle in all font gives you the devourer, but you got a hard cast that bitch. <laughs> Plus three life, easy clap. I'll take a grief. Okay, rolled. <clears throat> rolled, rolled, rolled. <clears throat> I felt good. Okay, how do we sideboard against this bozo? So this is like, they're, they're basically playing like solitude, grief, you know. 
scam shit and then with Soren and Alenda. I don't really care about the evoke stuff. I, I only care about the Soren. <clears throat> we don't have great answers to Soren though. The this deck is screaming for Palantir. I think Palantir is just a worse one ring, is it not? Squee is not great against them with their exile removal effects. Vortex is kind of meh. <clears throat> I think Flute can be okay. I think Wintermoon's not that good against them because they can they can play with only one land anyway. <laughs> hmm, been been at all? I want a lab right <laughs> with my Blood Moon here. The flute, the flute might have been worth it on the draw, but actually bricked. Hey man, we still got we still got one more turn to draw to draw a lab here for the early blood moons. <clears throat> Lootmonger is very good against their Juggernaut Peddler too, right? Because we can just discard the Juggernauts and get something better. <clears throat> Alright, bro. Send the Chalice, I guess. Lab was on top. Uh, keep these opinions to yourself, please. even discard the juggernaut or do I discard the devourer? <laughs> if I find a lab, I've got Ulamog anyway. Vanishing Verse. Okay. Don't mind the vanishing verse. It's a wombo combo enabled for opponent. Does Vanishing Verse work on colorless? No. Mono-colored permanent. <clears throat> I think we'll probably just die to the Alenda token here. You get a treasure for casting Juggernaut to... Uh, no, because that, that Juggernaut does technically belong to me. Okay, okay, game three. 
Chalice? Well, I'm, I'm dead anyway, right? <laughs> just, just pick the card that wins the game there. Option A, lose. Option B, lose. Option C, lose. Why are you not picking the one that wins? <laughs> It's, it's, it can be mana positive, yeah. Oh, they have Necro as well. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> oh, bro, forgot about option D. What's option D? Yep, game three, game three. The opponent goes first deck working timeless. Absolutely no chance, man. Not a not a hope. <clears throat> like the difference between going first and second gets worse, like the more powerful everything gets, right? So if you think it's bad then fucking draft and standard. Wait till you see uh, what it can do in timeless. <clears throat> I think draw first uh, strat was capped in, in alchemy. Even in alchemy, it wasn't that great. It was it was a really fun deck to play just because it's something so different. But it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It was still good. But you ain't you ain't gonna be able to do that in anything more powerful than alchemy. We're finally slamming Blood Moon? Maybe. No lab here, though, annoyingly. <clears throat> A lab here would be so insane, huh? Turn one Chalice, turn two Blood Moon. Turn three Sneak Attack. Ooh! Well, actually not. Turn three Sneak Attack if you do turn, play, turn two Blood Moon, I guess. Alright, finally the fucking Evoke Elementals deck take, took a mull. Yep, easy win. The frog is is quite bad in some matchups, but some some matchups it's insane, obviously. <laughs> It's not a bad hand. <laughs> Why they, they they always have the basic island? Oh, how am I supposed to focus on only one project? Do I guess I do want land. <laughs> always the basic. Yep. Eugene's Labyrinth. This is the same guy, not different, same deck, but different opponent, though. Resolved that they just our heart says though. <laughs> heart says more than helps us. It's a little triggering that I actually think this must be of the meta decks, this has to be our worst matchup, right? Show and tell will be better, energy will be better. <laughs> I'd like to not just play against this constantly.
I mean, they can't they can't uh, cast mana drain, no, but they do get to. They've basically got a frog in play, right? As long as they've got enough lands. <clears throat> A lot of people play it, like 50% of your matches. Well, it's, not, it's it's one of the popular decks, yeah. Show and tell. I still think energy is the most popular, but show and tell, energy, blue, black. Um, yeah, that's not really what you want, is it? <clears throat> I'm going to die to the Tammy, old man. So we just we gotta just go sneak, right? Bro, it's not frog. Tamio, it's almost as good as the frog, though. Not with three lands, no. But with more than three, it's not far off, right? <clears throat> Demonic Tutor. <laughs> Choose up to three. Three? I mean, I guess I'll take another... Do I want a Fury? I guess Fury, yeah. Fury... Ring. Pretty good. Pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, it worked out. I can't believe it, but it worked out. <laughs> Sneak attack. Sneak, sneak, sneakity sneak. Stupid blue black ass. <laughs> no frog is lost. I'm telling you, man. We're not bad against the non-frog cards. Bag banger, yeah. <laughs> Stupid frog. Do we just send Squee? I can't I can't really attack with it though, because they will they can pump up the frog with one card. <clears throat> Men, but um, brother, they've already got a swamp, mate. They've got a swamp, and then they'll attack and then I can play mountain squee. Maybe I can race. Okay, fine. Sold. What a luck sack, huh? <laughs> so frickin' lucky. <clears throat> so, so, so lucky.
turn off blue. I tried. I tried. Well, it's time to test out Squee as a sideboard card, huh? Let's take a little look. <clears throat> Fuck this frog, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh -uh. Maybe they have a spell in their deck that can kill a frog. Drain, I mean what does what does drain do? I mean I can't I can't beat the frogs, did we have one problem and it's the frogs. And Lil Bro's got two of them. Uh... <laughs> I guess I'll take Brainstorm, because that's the spell they can cast, and then I'll go for a Chalice for two next turn. <clears throat> what the hell? That looked so weird. <laughs> Chat, I cannot explain how much I hate these frogs. Why not Chalice for two? Because they, they can't really cast many of their two mana cards at the moment, that's the thing, right? They have one blue and one, uh, one black. Most of their blue two drops are all double blue. So I think it's better to do one first, right? Because they're the ones that they can cast. Easiest. I do think they have, I'm pretty sure we saw two islands in game one, so I think they do have two islands, but one, I guess only one swamp. <clears throat> I mean, they must, they must have two swamps, right? Or they would just discard the Loris as well. The frog will kill me again. I'm I, dude, I, like <laughs> when I say these things, I'm not I'm not lying, man. They have one card that's good against us, the frog. Just gotta draw a damn sneak, huh? <clears throat> Pop deck a little sneakies. Um, <clears throat> these frogs are getting big though, so it's gonna have to be soon. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they do. They probably do play two swamps if they're just refusing to get rid of Loris. Two swamps, two islands, it seems. Mm. Add Blast Zone. 
Yeah, blast blast zone plus bloodman combo. <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't expecting to see that. <laughs> Random table. <laughs> that does explain the Jace, yes. Bottom squee? Fuck that, the Turn two squee, mate. Bottom squee, you're crazy. <clears throat> yeah, the squee, it does seem like it's not the perfect sideboard card to beat the frog, that's for sure. It's great against the rest of their deck, but that's much like the rest of my deck is great against the rest of theirs as well. <clears throat> Stupid frog. <laughs> Stone brain the frogs, yes. Do we have enough colorless for null elemental blast? Our only colorless is from the labyrinth, unfortunately. <laughs> Squee, get him! <clears throat> Alright, yo, no frog one time. No frog one time? Land me, 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 land me. Or, or Bloodman. Okay, we're not going to be drawing Blood Moon, but our chances of drawing land have increased significantly. Okay. Would you like a ring or a sneak attack, chat? I believe you'd like a little ring, wouldn't you? Erupt your own lab. That sounds like a bad play. Can you pass? <clears throat> Can you frickin' pass? I can't draw first, because draw, draw first is uh, Bomi bait. I need to draw on their turn. Pass is a little cringe, but it's also, I think, fine. Jace Valky, Monka S. <clears throat> um, creatures without flying can't block this turn. It's interesting text, isn't it? <clears throat> <clears throat> Obviously, you can just sneak a Traxa in, but 
You could also draw with a ring, give them Bowmaster triggers, and try and get a little uh, Ulamog. There's something to be said about that. Atraxa might get me a Fury, actually, huh? And that was should be lethal. Or, or a Ulamog anyway. <clears throat> wow. That seems unlucky. <laughs> but sure. Squee, Lootmonger, Devourer. I mean, you gotta just send in a Devourer. It doesn't get a trigger, but... Still good, isn't it? <clears throat> Bro is complaining about a one mana six six with haste. Good game, am I, am I dead? I mean, I can't be dead, it's just a value play, surely. How, how can I be dead? Yo, where are the, where are the squee haters at? Any squee haters? Win winter winter moon. Alright, on the play, turn to B moon though. No? Got that turn to B moons. And I I guess we want a ring, right? Wait, why didn't why did you not play the winter moon? You idiot. <laughs> Basic swamp? Right, this is starting to piss me off. The amount of basics are unbelievable. Winterman isn't playable. I mean, I, I didn't think so, but if if you were ever going to try it in a deck, it's got to be this one, right? Bum, 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 bum. This Winterman is just going to hurt me again. Yikes. Or maybe we destroy target land. I mean, how many basics can a guy have in 2024? <clears throat> At least two. But only two. Only two. And then next turn we go again. And then we see what happens. <laughs> next turn with our Winterman. Yes, of, co of course the Winterman is not the play. <clears throat> I don't really know 
like we looked through basically every two mana red and colorless card there, there isn't really anything that's amazing i don't think for that final slot Is it because you can only play one trickery because it's restricted, so like main deck flute or something's like the best uh, maybe the best choice or or hearse potentially. I've I've got chalice, yeah. I, don't, I didn't really see anything that I love, though. Mm. Flute main or, or hearse main would, I, I think, be the best choices. Which are not... They're not too exciting, right? Those choices. Power balance, yeah, but I mean, I think my my deck has too much of a variety of mana value, right? For power balance, you want you want power balance and like Lurus Meadows, I think, is the kind of the best place for that, or at least it seems like it should be. Maybe I should have named Necro, huh? Because they've got they've they exiled one. They they've probably got another. <laughs> Rangu, Rangu. I mean, you gotta name the thing that's in play. Alright, 18 turn clock online chat. Wait, they took my ring. It's been named by Flute Bozo. <clears throat> it's absolutely no thought whatsoever. No! Okay, Fragment Reality, insane card. Actually insane card against us, holy shit. Uh, that is a great answer to Chalice Dex. Fragment Reality. <laughs> Big chat from someone who constantly gets got by his own challenges one time, man. That was like five hours ago as well. You can't just bring that up now. That was literally like five hours ago. Last game? It wasn't last game. Lies. <laughs> Rip, Jet. 
The mono red the dream is dead. I don't there's not really there's not really a second color to add though. Ecuador. Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> 